Hi guys, it's Baldrick here, and in today's episode, I'd like to talk about getting into PC gaming part 4. So, in this episode, I'll be covering how to basically get used to using the keyboard and mouse and why you should use it over the controller. So obviously you can use a Microsoft Xbox 360 or Xbox One controller with the PC as long as you download the right software required for it and also Logitech and Razer make controllers as well that work fine. I've used the Razer one and the Xbox 360 one when I first got into PC gaming and let me tell you do not use them and you are wasting your money because unless you are playing racing games then they are good for racing simulators if you couldn't be bothered buying a wheel the uh, controller works a lot better than keyboard and mouse that's the only instance where I would recommend that but if you're playing any other sort of game that involves uh, precise aiming definitely be sure to use a good gaming keyboard and mouse reason for this is just because it's that much more accurate than the uh, controller because a, a joystick isn't really going to beat the accuracy of a high or low sensitivity mouse where you can get your precise accuracy right on your target. Another reason that you would want to use the keyboard and mouse is just because everybody else is using them and it will be a disadvantage if you don't use one because in PC games, we don't have auto aim unless it's a very uh, unique title or it's included, but most games will not have auto aim for your controller in the multiplayer, maybe for campaign, but usually not for multiplayer. So when you're using a stick, it's a massive disadvantage to you because everybody has so much far better precision than you uh, who's using a mouse. And you with your controller where you used to auto aim on your console, it's not going to turn out as well as you're used to because uh, whether you like it or not, the consoles for a lot of first person shooters especially have pretty good auto aim on them assisting you with picking off those, uh, I guess, precise targets because without it you would be missing a lot of your shots. So that is the main disadvantage if you use the controller. So. Tips for getting into it, if you uh, find that you're sucking with the keyboard and mouse, uh, play some campaign games, that's how I started off, I started off playing some, uh, not Assassin's Creed, Far Cry 3, and I completed that campaign, and by the end of it, I was pretty confident with the keyboard and mouse, after that I moved to some Battlefield 3, got on the multiplayer, and I got better and better as time progressed, I obviously played a bit of Call of Duty on the PC, that also improved my accuracy, and then I finally started to beast on uh, Battlefield 4, and that is why I'm a why I'm a pretty high level now, just because I enjoy playing with a keyboard and mouse, and I'm pretty good with it now. So I definitely recommend using it. It does take a while. I know it can feel really frustrating when you're missing all your shots, but I'll give you some tips for using your DPI settings. If you buy like a high DPI mouse, which means the sensitivity. It usually says like 5000 DPI. If you're playing first person shooters, just set it to about 1300 DPI to about maximum 1800. You don't want to go any higher than that, otherwise, it's going to be too sensitive. If you're playing some uh, faster, I guess, mouse movement games like I don't know, RTS or some MMO games where you need to move your mouse from one screen to the other side really quickly, maybe have it at a higher DPI. But I definitely recommend using those lower DPIs. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, please remember to have a nice day and tell me what you think uh, about using keyboard and mouse compared to controller. I'd like to hear what you think. So see you later. Have a nice day.